Okay. Um, it is Friday, March 6th of 2020. It's 2.30 a.m. in the morning. Uh, for the last couple of days, I've been messing around with my computer. Um, I um, My PC computer, I formatted it <clears throat> back a couple weeks ago or whatever, and I put uh, Linux on it. Uh, Zorin. And I was running Zorin 15.1 yesterday or the day before. They released 15.2, and I've upgraded to 15.2. But uh, the other day, uh, let's see. Nope, that's not it. Well, I'm getting to that. Uh, back November 7th of 2019, I purchased a HP Chromebox G2, and I see the price is now $214, and I wish I had uh, looked around and uh, got one that had more memory. Now, I purchased a few years ago a um, Chromebox. And it had four gigs of memory in it, and I, when I got it, it was very easy to install, and I upgraded, I believe, to eight gigs of memory. Um, and I really, as I've mentioned before, I think in the last couple of days, I, uh, I just didn't, I just didn't use it. I played with it a few times for a few hours. But I just basically just sort of had it as a, an emergency backup in case something happened that I could uh, hook it up. And I forget what the time frame is, but uh, Chrome, uh, after seven years or something like that, and that's not seven years after you get, and I'm not sure of the years, but whatever the number is, it's not like seven years after you purchase it. It's seven years after they start manufacturing that model. Uh, there's no more updates for it. So I've got one sitting up on the shelf there, brand, I mean, probably has less than 20 hours of time on it and perfect condition, but it's not going to get any more upgrades. Um, so I turned around and purchased in November an HP Chromebox. You know what I need to do? I need to pop up so I can see what you see. Okay, because that, that way I'll know. Anyway, this is the uh, the Chrome box. And here are the connections on the back. You know what I need to do? I need to uh, just, rather than do that. So let me minimize this here. So anyway, I purchased this, and so yesterday or the day before, I hooked it up and ran the Chrome box with the Chrome operating system for, I don't know, 15 or 20 hours, something like that. Uh, it works well. Oh man, the great... Um, you know, 4K, I have a 4K monitor, and I had that in uh, 4K mode. This HP Chromebox worked excellent. And I, um, right now actually I'm in 4K mode, but I'm in the uh, 4K mode that is, I put it, put it in, uh, now of course I'm running L Linux now, but I put it in a 2560 by 1440 mode. Uh, and that seems like it, it's better for what I'm doing now for this type of stuff. Um, but this, um, let's see, this only has three ratings. Must be a new company. I mean, I'm, I purchased... 
Okay, they don't show all the uh, stuff about it. Maybe I can find somebody else that's selling it. Well, bummer. Maybe from a different buyer. Other sellers, okay. Let me see what this shows up. No, this is add to the cart. Oh. Well, to hell with it. So, um, I guess I should have got down my other Chrome box, the old one. Now, this one has a Type C port on it. Okay, there again, I got to. You know what I need to do, too? Where is my cell phone? I need to kill this light a little bit behind me. And now I've left my cell phone laying someplace. I'm not off to a very good start here. Oh, here's my cell phone. Well, let me pull up the... Uh, so I can see how much light I need to kill. Okay. Let me kill this totally. Yeah, I think that works. Better. Except it's dark here. Oh, whoops. Except I have this, of course. That I can turn on my lamp that I told you about that sits on the monitor. Okay. Um, yeah, now I can't see. Yeah, right above. Yeah, that's not working. Okay. Okay. Anyway, uh, this Chrome box comes with a Type C connector, and out of this Chrome box, you can use that to, uh, with the, you know, with in fact, it comes with a cable. So you go in with a Type C, and then it runs into uh, not DisplayPort. I don't think. I think it goes into an HDMI, if I remember correct. But uh, so I played around with the uh, video. worked You know, worked great. Um, and really, I didn't need this, but I purchased this. Well, it'll be yesterday. Got same day delivery. A USB C mini dock. And it really is small. I really, and it was only, I think, like $29 or $39. I think it was like $29. And uh, I really wanted to get, uh, well, here I can show this, I know. There, okay, no reason for me to hold this. Well, anyway, get, you get an idea of the size. I really wanted to get one that... Uh, has their stand, you know, that uh, like a docking station that's, uh, they're like $80, $90. And uh, so I tested out the uh, internet cable spot, you know, high speed. What did I... Uh, Wrong page. That's my bills. Okay, it must be the next page. Yeah, once I, I was getting, you know, before uh, using the, uh, getting the device in, I was getting speeds of 127 down and 11 up, 89 down and 11 up, 79 and 11 up. 
I went to Wi-Fi to test out, you know. I was getting 91, you know, down and 11, and 11 up. Uh, once I installed the uh, C-Hub, brand new C-Hub, uh, well, the first one, and I think I probably needed to, uh, I'm going to disregard the first one. So the, I, the next two I did were 109 down and 11 up and 113 down, and so that definitely worked. And the uh, checked everything else out as far as I could. I didn't. Uh, I didn't hook up a VGA cable. Uh, the audio jack or whatever, and they mentioned that in the instructions that uh, you get uh, with the audio jack HDMI, or you get you know HDMI audio. And so that's what that's actually what I got. So um, I I just wish I'm not going to return it, but I just wish I'd have spent the money and got the the uh, well. I think probably they show below here one of these. Okay, come on. Oh, oh, um. Anyway, the the price on this was uh, really inexpensive, but I'd like to. Um, okay, I don't see. Maybe it's down here. Anyway, they have the. Uh, Well, it looks like now I'm not going to find it. But they have the ones that are the tower-like units that are... I really wish I'd have got instead. But I really... Uh, you know, I really didn't need this. But I did play with it. So what else did I want to tell you? Um, getting uh, with the Chromebox and in fact with the Chromebox better even uh, getting great 4K video what was interesting with the Chromebox is I had it set to uh, well I changed around the settings but I had it set to uh, 1080p but when I went to YouTube to watch some 4K video, they I actually got them in 4K video. I tried to record it like this, but uh, I'm not going to show you that video because, and I mentioned in the video, then there was buffering because I was recording the desktop and because I had, you know, video going on the desktop, uh, then... But when I wasn't doing that, when I was just regularly using the uh, Chromebox, fantastic 4K. So I don't understand why when I have the things set to 1080, but I go to YouTube and there's a 4K. And then I also went to, the one thing I did have a problem with, and I didn't spend... Uh, much time with that because I, I just was doing everything real fast. When I went to Netflix, I got audio, but I got a black screen. That's with this device. Uh, I think there was a driver or something rather that needed something needed to be fixed. And I could have fixed it if I'd have, you know, I played with it for a few minutes or whatever. So anyway, the uh, Chromebox, the only thing is this Chromebox, like I told you, the other Chromebox, was very easy. Just pop the top off and just drop the memory into it. And you could even put, you know, upgrade an SD card or whatever drive. Uh, this has a small SSD in it. <clears throat> but I looked at some YouTube videos and when you pop the top up, it's still connected in the back. 
you don't have much room to work if you break a cable or whatever. It's not a big deal, and I'll probably get around to doing it. But it was. I now I wish that I had. Now there wasn't an option when I at least on the. But I kind of wish that I had just purchased, found a company. Uh, that would sell me, and charge me for the you know memory upgrade. Okay, this is going to go in the box. Um, let me look at my notes here. Chrome was upgraded. Of course, it upgraded, but but I did Chrome upgrade because I had this box put away. It was at version 79, and uh, upgrade took me to version 80 plus, you know, some other numbers. Um, and then, of course, uh, uh, Linux is upgraded, or at least the um, Zorin is, to 15.2. I don't see the difference between 15.1 and 15.2, but I'm sure there is. Actually, I do. And because I, I complained a while back that when I went to upgrade, do a software uh, upgrades, it would list a whole bunch that needed to be done. And then uh, it would say authentication error or something or other. So I messed with that for a while, but uh, once this upgrade was made, then those upgrades were taken care of, so... Uh, what else? It's, well, these cruise, cruise ship things, um, it's kind of like what, uh, The Lost, what was that old movie I, where the people are on the, I forget what it was called. And, it's, I mean, this is kind of, cruise ship with thousands aboard is in limbo. Dozens of coronavirus tests were dropped off by helicopter to the ship off the California coast. And then it says here, underneath that, live update, bodies pile up in morgue, in morgue as Iran feels the strain. I'm sure that's for the virus. And there's a step-by-step -step breakdown of U.S. cases. I'm in Texas, by the way. Did I even say at the beginning of this, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, uh, Texas? I think I did. Let's see. Six now dead in Washington State. Four Washington of them, State. Elderly 44. residents of this nursing home near Seattle. At least 48 That's, schools this is now closed Ten across have died. the state for deep California, cleaning 36, and a warning from the governor. Illinois, five, Florida, four, Oregon, three, Alaska, two, assemblies. Today, Georgia, two, Massachusetts, two, New Hampshire, two. Okay, you get the no idea. I think is the key Texas, word. one. There are likely many more. Right now, today, on this day, Monday, if you look at the country as a whole, the risk is low. But the virus is now spreading within American communities. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see, he tested positive for the coronavirus. Here's how he feels now. Oh, yeah, I looked this up, a list of disinfectants that you can use. So I'll try to put that link below, but you can find it by doing a search. You know, Clorox and Clorox. And I guess they have Clorox, you know, uh, Clorox wipes and stuff like that. Uh, the number predicts how fast a virus will grow. World Health Organization warns governments this is not a drill. Let's see. Using olive oil instead of these foods could add years to the life of your heart. I use olive oil uh, a lot of times, a spoonful or whatever, in things that I, you know, I make rice or whatever, uh, stuff like that. Probably not enough to do the job, and probably what I'm eating is uh, uh, 
I bought a three pound bag of walnuts from Amazon, had that delivered, had that delivered when I got my uh, hub, type C hub. I put some of them in the freezer because people were saying in the uh, comment section that that these were, it was, I think of $23, I think, for three pounds. That's a good price. Uh, but anyway, people were saying that, uh, the women it seemed like, saying that their husband has loved walnuts and so they bought them, you know, in a large amount, but then they put it in the freezer so it didn't go bad. Uh, Costco company says it's getting a lift from the coronavirus virus panic shopping. <laughs> this is funny. Warren staff catches candidate's dog stealing a burrito. She dropped out of the race, by the way. Uh, I really, I'd, I'd be happy with her as the uh, candidate. It's that hard to swallow. If you pick, uh, beer if you pick the one candidate that the Republicans would not want to be president of the United States, you know, the one Democrat, it would be her. And I, I would, I have, I have no problem with Biden being, you know, the, and uh, with no problem with Sanders, probably Sanders, from my point of view. Uh, now, he can't go in and issue executive orders the way Trump would. And uh, um, and get away with it. And, and Congress would have to, you know, work with them. But he would go in and he would tr actually try to fix things. And I would like somebody that would go in. You do know that if, uh, let's say that Biden were to be elected president in the election, if the Republicans were to gain control of the House, they would impeach him immediately and he would be removed. You know, if the Senate was still in the same situation with the Republicans controlling it, that would be... I guess the thing to do would be have Biden be, uh, you know, if he's uh, elected president, make sure you have uh, Harris as the vice president. They would be, Republicans would be praying for Biden's health. They would not impeach him because she would become president and she scares the hell out of him. I've talked about what's, what that, that's, you know, what that's all about. And uh, so. Um, I'm scanning this real quick. I might be missing something. Uh, I get so tired now they're saying uh, fish oil supplement linked to lower risk. They always come up with, you know, they never come up with uh, glazed donuts, uh, you know, make you live longer or uh, chocolate pie or whatever. It's always. Alabama executed this inmate, Nathaniel Woods, and uh, Martin Luther King's son, I guess, or would it be grandson? Uh and others, a lot of people have called, called for him, you know, not to be executed. Uh, and I'm 100% opposed to the death penalty. I think it's just a big mistake doing it. I think, you know, well, I've, I've gone into that. And most of, if you're American, most of you disagree with me. But in his case, uh, you know, three police officers were killed. I don't actually think he pulled the trigger. I think it's agreed that he didn't pull the trigger. You know, the guy he was with pulled the trigger. But, I mean, if you're going to execute somebody, that's, you know, he kills, you know, three police officers are killed. 
you know, one police officer to kill, you know, execute him. Uh, did he get a fair trial? Uh, but anyway. Eastern Island, Easter Island, Mora statue destroyed by a truck. That's those tall things we wonder about how in the world they actually drug the stone over and did that kind of stuff. And they're trying to preserve them. I guess here was a somebody, well, I guess we could find out, right? They have a, probably going around trying to fix, there you are. Amazing. I think I watched a special or something when these people, I'm not sure if Mora, M-O-A-L, Easter Island, world famous moral statues, statues, more than one? Oh, one of them, okay. I guess that island was filled with wood, and that's one thing they used to roll these things and other stuff, but... And then these people, you know, who were living there used the trees and before long they think that they died out because they removed all the trees. Let's see. One of Easter Island's world famous Mora statues has been destroyed in an accident. A Chilean Island resident was arrested on March 1st after his truck, a private vehicle, not a commercial one, crashed into one of the stone figures and badly damaged both it and a, a who or platform that it was perched on. Local authorities believe the accident was caused by brake failure that caused his truck to slide down here. Down, I can't talk. Down here. Downhill. The damage is incalculable. Oh, wow. Let's see. Oh, I do see that they took, uh, what's his name, Stone? Finally, they took him out of uh, the hospital, and, uh, and now he has been taken to Rikers Island, I think, is that, is that what it's called? Taken uh, there, and of course, he's going into the medical unit there, but he is finally in prison. I don't think they have, I'm not sure if they, they finalized, they can't remember the sentence, how long it was going to be. Seems like maybe he's supposed to go back for another. Let's see. Daughter didn't speak to mom over her vote for Trump. See where they stand now. Ben Carlson has testily engage with lawmakers on transgender access to shelters. Trump has appointed, appointed the worst people. You know, he said he was going to appoint the best. And he's actually, it's hard to believe that he found people who were so bad and so, in, you know, not qualified for the position. Veterans react to Trump downplaying the traumatic brain injury. Let's see. Bill Clinton says he feels terrible that the affair unfairly defined Mar uh, Monica Lewinsky's life. I've seen her on it. You probably have to on some interview show or something like that. And, you know, she talks about that's, you know, that's it. Uh, with her, I mean, they, that's the only, the only thing anybody thinks about when they hear her name or see her or whatever.
world's largest cannabis company is closing down greenhouses and laying off hundreds. Is that in Colorado or where is that? Seemed like that'd be sort of like the casino business. How could you go? There's been a lot of news about vaping lately, How, uh, and none of it has been good. Doctors are reporting an uptick in. It's shutting down three million square feet of greenhouses. Well, that may be because everybody is in those states is growing their. Maybe growing their own. Canopy growth. Plans to close two facilities in British Columbia, Canada, resulting in the layoff. I think I own a little bit of uh, some, not very much. I bought a few shares of a company in Canada that was into uh, marijuana, but I don't think they were, they weren't manufacturing cigarettes. I forget what they were doing. Adding it to, and I, I, haven't even, I haven't even checked on the stock. And even if it went up in stock or something, I mean, I, I have so few shares, it wouldn't, it wouldn't even be worth looking, but I guess I should check. Uh, I think the stock market went down. Uh, I think it went down today also. Oh, I am on the business thing. Federal judge blasts Barr for Mueller report rollout, asking if it was meant to help Trump. Yes, it was. <clears throat> Uh, Trump, of course, would be incapable of doing it because of his mental conditions and because of his stupidity. But you know, they're as incompetent as he was. Of course, he wouldn't. He wouldn't be able to do it. But what if, when he took office, if he had actually, you know, appointed whoever the best? You know, even if some of them were Democrats. Uh, what if he had appointed the best people for those positions? Of course, you know, he would have had to listen to them. And I mean, he's just incapable of uh, doing that. But that would have been, that would have been interesting. You know, we, we had, we would have Trump <clears throat> and he wouldn't be able to hide his problems. But what if he was able to have a, you know, his, you know, cabinet and he had the best people appointed and he did actually listen to them and do all, but he's incapable of doing that. That would have been an interesting thing, you know, if you'd had somebody like Trump, but the government was headed by, you know, uh, like the Department of Education. They have De DeVos or whatever. She never went to public school. She wants to close all the public schools and make them for profit or whatever. Uh, she never went to public school. Her kids never went to public school. Uh, when she was being asked questions, uh, bef you know, for her confirmation or whatever, she didn't know anything about education. The Republicans just stopped the hearings. It was supposed to be two days of hearings, and it was just a few hours of it, and they just stopped and said, okay, we're going to approve you. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, uh, Oh, wait a minute, what's, who was the Attorney General? No, uh, yeah, the Attorney General. Sessions, was it Jeff Sessions? Maybe if I do a search, I think it was. Anyway, he's running now because he got fired. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he got taken out of the Senate by Trump and, you know, he got confirmed. And then Trump immediately hated his guts and spent his entire time Trump attacking his attorney general because the attorney general wasn't helping him enough and because the attorney general excused him because he was involved. 
he said, okay, I, you know, my deputy will handle this, you know, and Trump wanted him to handle it because he could try to fix things. So anyway, Sessions is back in whatever state. I know it's a southern state. Uh, and uh, so Sessions is running. In fact, they had the election. But so he's running and Trump is attacking him. And uh, Trump is swearing a loyalty to, you know, to Trump and everything. I'm not saying anything bad about Trump, even though Trump talked about him bad and fired him and, and all that type of stuff. But anyway, there were the other Republican running, trying to get the nomination. Uh, neither one of them got a majority or whatever you need to get. So they're going to have to have, they're going to have to be a runoff between those two. Both of them are, you know, loyal to Trump big time. But you know what I was thinking would be funny? I mean, it's not going to happen. But what if uh, Sessions won and became the senator from his state again? And then he's in the Senate. What if Trump were to get reelected? But what if the Democrats were to pick up seats in the House? They don't really need more seats, in the, but if they did. And what if the, the Democrats uh, got the majority in the Senate? It would have to be a big enough majority that they could. Uh, and so you see where this is going. And then... The Democrats in the House impeach Trump again. But this time there's a majority in the Senate of, you know, Democrats or whatever. And it goes to the And what if it came down to there was one vote, you know, the, one vote would remove Trump from office. And what if Sessions... What if he was that vote? <laughs> That's not going to happen. A bit too. It'd be too wonderful in a way. Although, like I mentioned in the er earlier part, uh, if Trump wins, no, if Trump loses, and uh, if the Republicans were to. Uh, get control of the House, they would immediately, you know, uh, impeach Biden. And then, unless his vice president was heirs, they would not do that. They would pray. Republicans would get on their knees and pray for the for President Biden, you know, for his health and to make sure that he didn't, you know. Maybe even if uh, Sanders was vice president, maybe they would do the same thing. But I like to think about things like that. It doesn't give me an erection, but it makes me think poetic justice, you know, with a Okay, I don't think I went down all the news here. There's gotta be some good news. Let's look for some good news. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> I haven't had the flu in since the seventies, two years in a row. What was it, the Hong Kong flu or whatever? Back in the seventies, it came through and I got it. And I've told I'm not going to tell you the story again. That was terrible. And then the next year, it came through again, or a slightly different version of it, and I got that, and that was terrible. <clears throat> and since then, I just pray that I do not get the flu. Well, I'll explain to you why. Uh, a lot of people, you know, if you're sick, you have the flu, and you're, you know, whatever. A lot of people just vomit, and, you know, well, they're, you know, they're better. Uh, Something about me when I, I don't like to vomit. And so flu came through 
and I'm not sure what I was doing because people would probably say, don't do that. Well, I have no control over that, you know, so I started choking on vomit, aspirating on it, got in my airway or whatever. I could not breathe, and for a little bit I was like running around like a chicken with its head cut off or whatever. It couldn't breathe, thought I was going to die, thought this is terrible, and I'm going to you know, people are going to think I'm an alcoholic that was drinking, and I don't drink, by the way. Going to think that I, you know, got drunk and died from vomiting on my... So, the next year, I didn't die. Thought I'd tell you that. Next year, a flu comes through, same thing, and the same... And so I'm there, oh, don't want to vomit, don't want to vomit, don't want to vomit. I was married then, my... My wife said, I just vomit. It'll be in a sheet. That's because that's what, you know, she just, she just vomit. Oh, I'm better now, you know. And, of course, I wasn't trying to. I mean, I was, anyway, same thing happened. I had, I don't know how many seconds it was of not being able to breathe. And so I survived. So that's the 70s. Now, after that, a few times I've, Maybe had the flu or, you know, something where I had to, and I've laid awake all night long, terrified that I was going to vomit, you know. And uh, now it's 2020. I'm going to be 70, 79 this month. So... Anyway, that's a terrible feeling to all night be laying in bed, you know, I'll have a wet, you know, washcloth on my head, doing, you know, everything, and just, I'll be just laying there all night long, you know, praying, please don't let me vomit. So, maybe I should have an airway and figure it out how to put in there. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. Well, wasn't this an exciting, uh, should I put in the tabs vomit, you know? Anyway, thank you very much for watching.